الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Brothers and sisters, uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, welcome back to another session of um, our series, uh, Make My Heart Firm. Uh, today's dua is um, uh, a dua for those people who are looking for miracles. Because miracles is uh, just um, something ordinary for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We call it miracles because we uh, see them as super ordinary events or as extraordinary events uh, but yet for allah is uh, is um, business as usual i mean this is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, does those things without uh, his, his his orders just be and it is and things are done that is the power of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so um if uh, sometimes um, when you're involved in Islamic work, uh, people are amazed how things happen. But those, the believers who believe in Allah, whose trust is strong in Allah, and who have that faith in Allah, they know that this is something ordinary. Uh, although it seems extraordinary to other human beings, but this is just who Allah is and uh, how things are done. Uh, so this is what happened to Zakaria, Prophet Zakaria alayhi salam. Uh, he saw that uh, Maryam rahimahullah, that uh, she was getting all these benefits and she was getting food from nowhere and, uh, you know, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, she was being taken care of. So he himself had become very advanced in his age uh, along with his wife. And there was no chance uh, in the regular way to have a child. And he wanted a child. So, um, but uh, they both, husband and both uh, Prophet Zakaria alayhi salam and his wife knew that through the normal means um, that uh, they will not be able to have a child. So Prophet Zakaria, when he saw these amazing things happening with Maryam, he immediately turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well. And uh, he uh, and this is the ayah. Uh, this is this his du'a is uh, um, uh, what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells us in the Quran, in Surah Three, Surah Ali Imran, Ayah Thirty-Eight. Hunalika uh, da'a Zakariya Rabbahu that it is right then when he saw this with Maryam, uh, rahimahullah, that he immediately turned to Allah. Uh, and he called upon his Lord. Zakaria called upon his Lord. And he said, Rabbi habli min ladunka dhurriyatan tayyibatan innaka sami'ud dua. Ten words. He said, My Lord, uh, grant me a, a good offspring. Rabbi habli min ladunka dhurriyatan tayyiba. My Lord, give me from yourself, grant me from yourself. A good offspring, good offspring, the riyat and tayyiba, innaka sami'u dua, that you are certainly the the hearer of uh, our duas, of our supplications, of my supplication, and you are the hearer of all supplications. So, Zakaria, alayhi salam, uh, he knew that uh, in the normal way they could not have children. So he turned to Allah because he had those good thoughts about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he knew that if he was to just turn to Allah with his sincerity and his genuineness, that Allah is capable of anything. Allah is capable of anything. And uh, a child could come, uh, you know, a child could come if Allah willed it. And if Allah decreed it, then a child will come. And it's just as simple as that. And indeed, that's what happened. They they received a child, Yahya, um, and uh, and of course, this is a big lesson for all of us today. Uh, that this uh, du'a, he asked for uh, a miracle, and he was given that miracle because of his 
connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of his sincerity and his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He, his, he, he thought well of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He didn't have any doubts or any misgivings or that, uh, it, well, I don't know if this is really going to happen, but if it happens, it's good. If it doesn't, then it's okay. He didn't have that type of a nonchalant attitude. He had that yaqeen. The certainty of faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that miracles can happen, things are possible out of the ordinary. So in our world today, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, uh, people, you know, sometimes people wonder that if you become a a certain age, like if you're 60, 70, uh, uh, people think you're not going to memorize the Qur'an. And you start memorizing the Qur'an, but because people say, come on, you're you're so old, you're not going to be able to do this. So again, miracles are possible. If you just make that dua to Allah, oh Allah, grant me, grant me. And again, uh, the word in Arabic that he used is hub, you know, which is to grant me, meaning that this is a, a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so you're asking for a gift from Allah. There's nothing that you have to give back in return. So he's saying it in a very polite way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the same way, we can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if, if you don't know Arabic, for example, and you think it's virtually impossible, ask Allah. Ask uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah, make this dua. Rabbi habli. <clears throat> and of course, uh, he's asking for a good offspring. And that's another uh, issue that for us as uh, um, Muslims, uh, we should not just ask Allah for a child, but we should ask for a good child that would be good in this world and also in the in the hereafter to carry on the message of Islam. So, but in this way, uh, often people say that, "Come on, it's impossible to build a community. It's not. It's just not possible." And you're just forming your own ghetto. Uh, again, if uh, if you are doing it in the way of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, anything is possible. Anything is possible at all. Um, people say that, look, uh, you know, where are you going to get the money to have an Islamic school? Uh, you know, it's impossible to run a, a professional school uh, without, ha- unless you have a lot of money in the bank and so on. Again, br- brothers and sisters, Allah can make anything possible. Allah can make anything possible. Sometimes people think that they've committed so much sin that there's just no way for them to become a good person. And, you know, people make excuses by saying, well, that's just the way I was created, or that's just my character, I am like this or like that. And But you make dua to Allah to change your character. You ask Allah to bring you closer to Allah. And, and miracles like this can happen. So brothers and sisters, a dua like this gives us a lot of hope, a lot of hope that nothing is impossible for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as our scholars used to say, that if Allah is with you, then does it matter who's against you? Does it matter who's against you? And if, if, as some other scholars used to say, that if, if you have Allah in your life, then what don't you have? And if you don't have Allah in your life, then what do you have that is more important, more precious? Brothers and sisters, as always, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer all our duas. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.